Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. The former UFC middleweight champion Anderson the Spider Silva is set to make the walk here tonight. This is a man still getting it done in his mid-40s, DC. Proved in the Israel Adesanya fight that he could still hang in there over a hard 15 minutes with the best guys. In the Anderson world. Silva is still able to compete even though he's up there in age a little bit. And that's because of his commitment to the sport of mixed martial arts. He loves competing. He loves the spotlight. Everything that you need to drive you to be able to stay active and stay relevant in this sport, Anderson Silva possesses. Every time he steps foot in the octagon, we get a chance to witness one of the greatest fighters of all time. And when DC needed an opponent for UFC 200 on about 24 hours notice, the greatest of all time was your Huckleberry. Not too bad. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 31. The Brazilian is 45. He is seven inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the spider, Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, back to certainly is making it count in this one. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Forward, forward, forward. All right, he closes the distance, gets the 
single collar tie. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Three minutes. Silva gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Nice move and punch. Massive head kick. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. A little single collar tie there. Good stick. the Muay Thai plug. Oh, head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Ooh. Oh, just open it up on him now. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Such a fast leg kick. Five minutes in the book. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, round not two, great, but some action ready? on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Effective punch there by Lee. Nice slip to avoid the left. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Great punch. Oh, big head kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. All right, single collar tie now. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And now he lands a combination. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Big punch.
Rush lands over the top. How's he gonna oh. tell us? He needs to start looking for finish now. Oh! Play guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Anderson, the Spider Silva! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career, and got to be nice sometimes. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Exactly a lot of people talk about doing certain things.